You just watched an exchange in which the robot data and the human, Geordi LaForge, are discussing anger. And Geordi realizes that it's not so easy to define anger for someone who's never experienced anger. He first tries to define it in terms of other things similar to anger and then in terms of other emotions. And Data, of course, asks him uh, to define anger not by referring to an emotion. And here's where we get this idea of undefined terms. Now, you can probably say, listen, if you knew enough biology and science and psychology, you could explain what anger is. And, and you're right. You can explain what anger is and you can define anger. But at some point, you get to a level where there's something that is just that you just can't properly define. What an emotion is, you can describe it, but to someone who has never experienced an emotion, describing an emotion is not really going to give a complete or thorough definition. And the same is true for so many other things. What a color is, is something that might be very difficult to define to an alien race that didn't have sight. Or what an image is would be very difficult to define to an alien race that couldn't see anything. What a sound is would be very difficult to describe to an alien race that did not have the ability to hear things. That's where we have these ideas of undefined terms. They're so central to mathematics, but you'll also see that there are undefined terms in English that we just basically take for granted. We use those as our core of understanding, and we build everything else on top of that understanding of, what, of these undefined terms.